Hey y'all, welcome back to Huff Stuff. I'm Jolene. So today, I thought I would introduce you guys to our chickens. So we have 12 ladies, and this is our handsome rooster. Hi, it's actually kind of spitting snow at us right now, about five degree wind chill. So this is gonna be a fast one. Hi. So let me see here. This is Dogwood. She's super pretty. She looks like a kind of like a cheetah. And oh, our Mr. Rooster. His name is Squeaker. My brother named him because he sounded like a squeaker toy when he was trying to learn how to crow. And there's Miss Snow White. Say hi. Hi, Miss Snow. So she um. Looks like she's got pooped on. <laughs> she um is starting to get a green sheen to her. She's so pretty. Hi. And I don't actually know the rest of their names. <laughs> I did not name them all. And I'm slowly learning. Actually, I don't think they all have names yet. So maybe you guys can put in the comments and give us some suggestion for some funny chicken names. <laughs> So I hope you guys can see a little bit of snow that's coming down. It's actually coming down a little bit harder now. Hi. So let me show you my secret here. So we've got a little bit of a vent up here and I'm able to sneak in and see them on their perches when they're in there at night. I've got night vision on a camera here. So I recorded this night vision video about a week or so ago and I just wanted to insert it here to show you guys the pecking order so you can kind of tell how they're um, on the perches and that some of them even though there's room for all of them one of one or two of the chickens actually seems to always end up on the floor I don't really know how the pecking order is determined and um, they were all raised together so I, I don't know uh, maybe you guys could comment and let me know how they decide that and um, if you haven't subscribed already, please take a second to do so. And thank you to all that have already subscribed. I really appreciate it. And I'm starting to get really frozen there. It's their head of lettuce that my mom gave them last night. She lives with my husband and I, and she loves these chickens. So, we brought them home August 18th. They were uh, hatched on the 15th. I got them from Tractor Supply. Um, I had at first gotten 14, but one of them died about a week after we brought him home. I think he maybe got smushed, because um, he was fine one night, the next morning not so much. Um, but the rest of them are happy and they're growing and I guess they're just about fully grown. Um, they don't have all of their combs and things like that, but as far as size, I think they're grown. <laughs> um, they're five months old-ish and I actually raised them in the, my home office and I had them in that, um, that I bought at Tractor Supply and kicked them out here <laughs> into their little McMansion in November, about the end of November or so, um, which is why we actually still have the heat lamp on because they really didn't get a chance to get acclimated before it started getting chillier. And so this spring will definitely, um, will definitely uh, take out the electricity, take out the light. And for next winter, they'll have, you know, all fall to start getting acclimated and they won't need it. So, that's our plan for now. Hello, Miss Snow. Hi. It's snowing. How pretty. Your, snow, your name's Snow White and it's snowing. Uh-huh. So, we don't actually intend to eat these chickens, um, but we cannot wait to get the first egg. Um, I think whoever finds this is actually going to be the one that gets to eat it. <laughs> so, we're, we're all excited and we check quite often to see if there's an egg out here. So, my brother... 
built our chicken coop for us and he built it off the ground like I said they're able to get up under there and hi and um, I don't have any worms for ouch I don't have any worms for you I'm sorry I'm trying to get my ring there shiny ring huh <laughs> if you guys have any kind of string or anything like that hanging off of you they will try to peck it and eat it <laughs> usually I give them mealworms but they have gone through five pounds of mealworms in oh about oh about a month <laughs> hi hello there aren't you pretty you are such a pretty girl yes hi hi they are just such a hoot I love coming out here and spending time with them they're so fun hi they were so little when I brought them home, and it's just hard to believe that they're this big. Oh, she's going to go after the string on my jacket. already dried. Get it, girl. Get it. You get that wormy. <laughs> or pretend wormy. Get it. <laughs> so, yep, I need to order some worms soon. And, um, see if I can't. <laughs> You, did you just do what I think you did? Did you just do that? <laughs> oh! Maybe we can bring you some warm noodles here in a few. Some warm spaghetti noodles. They love them. It's so funny. They get them in their mouth and they just run around. We don't give them too many. Very many at all. But we just cook them up and bring them out here warm and give them a noodle or two each. And they love it. They love it. Well, you can hear that other rooster. How about you give us a show? Ooh. <laughs> they found another... <laughs> they found another string on me. How about you do it for us, huh? Go, err, err, err. All right, so let's see. We had to um, surround their coop with plywood because I have a cat and... He tried to get one of them one day and caught them by the wing, caught one of them by the wing, and thankfully we were out here and stopped it, and we put that up. Just need to get some rabbit wire to cover it, so. I'm standing up, and it's fully covered, fully surrounded by chicken wire and plywood. Um, we ran out of uh, paint, and I have not been able to catch outside paint at Walmart ever since I got this paint. So, just wanted to come on and show you guys one of our renewable resources that we're working on and encourage you all to do the same. If you don't have chickens, I will just say that I highly recommend them. They are so, so fun. They're fun to watch, fun to feed, fun to take care of, and they do give you eggs, and depending on your um, desires, they can give you chicken meat as well so you know with the empty store shelves and the threats of war and now the bird flu um, we really need to step up our prepping game y'all um, I hope that you've already started to prepare um, but now is definitely not the time to slow down now's the time to kick your plans into high overdrive Huh. <laughs> High overdrive. So, I hope you all enjoyed hanging out with me and my chickens today in this five degree weather. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you on the next video. Um, thanks. Bye.